Uh, got this in. Um, my family and I lived in uh, the province in China where the Uyghur people uh, live for over five years. We had a business that was for the purpose of helping young Uyghur men integrate into society as well as bring pride to their culture. We showed many people the love of Jesus while we were there and made many friends. We recently just left the region because of our contact with the local Uyghur people was causing harm to their families. People would be taken in the middle of the night after a small amount of contact with us. They were taken to a prison and re-educated. I listen to your podcasts. I guess the recent radio program uh, was, uh, I listened to the radio program and I was incredibly grateful to the point of tears for your bringing this news up. It seems like it's just not popular because it doesn't fit anybody's political narrative. It really only fits the narrative of our Lord suffering and laying our lives down for another, uh, one another. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means so much to my Uyghur friends who are suffering greatly in China. It means so much for my best friend who is currently being forced to teach propaganda to others inside of the camps or he becomes a prisoner of the camp. Please don't stop bringing this to light, Ben. Mm. Ben, our thoughts and prayers are with you and all of those who are suffering uh, in China. I don't know why this country is not leading the way anymore, uh, but we need to lead the way, especially with people claiming to be refugees that need asylum. We need to define what real refugees and people who need asylum are and give them shelter. 